Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Hof Bergman version 1.2. As you can see, we've got the same farmhouse, same chicken enclosure. However, things start to get a little bit different over here. The garage has moved slightly. Extra door in there. And we have rabbits. Just close the garage doors. So this is a rabbit enclosure. You can now get bunnies. Little hutch here. I assume you've seen bunnies in other map tours, so I'm not going to have a look at them right now. Uh, you have your own little plot here for growing vegetables. And the distillery has moved. So the only, yeah, the only other difference here on the main farm is that the distillery that was here has now moved. Now, you have a storage attic for hay and straw and a um, grass, dry, grass drying as well. Oh look, it's even got cobwebs up around. That's a really nice touch actually. There we go. If I click near the ladder, and we have a ladder, we can get up. And we can get up to the top here. I'm not really sure what we do when we're at the top here, but we're at the top here. Nice. So it has got a door at both ends. You can drive all the way through. Um, but the hay and grass part of it isn't the only bit. There is also... A sawmill around the side here. So, you can create, well, I think wood chips. But you can also create other bits here as well. A nice light for night working. I've got the trigger switched on, but, um, doesn't appear to be any here. Interesting. Ah! I hadn't looked in here yet, so I'm learning this at the same time. We've got a smokehouse! <gasps> ah! Now! That leads me on to... New Bits Part 2. So why would you need a smokehouse, you might ask? Well, the answer to that... Is all the way over here. We now have a fishing lake. You can buy plots within the fishing lake. You can buy a boat and a trailer. And if you take the boat out on the fishing lake to your plot, you can catch fish. And then you can sell the fish here, either smoked or unsmoked. And we will definitely, definitely be doing a bit of that. In our next, in our, um, our vineyard game. Definitely want to be doing some of that. Right then, so. The next change. We'll start from here. So this is the road that comes, oh, sorry. This is the road that comes out the farm, which is over there. Out and round and down. And if we carry on going down here. You would originally have got to the back of the store. Now that's not the case anymore. Now we have a second farm. Which is a little bit amazing. So the store is now on the left. That's been moved over to the left over here. Quite interesting. I can't actually remember what was there before. I think it was just it was part of the store wasn't it it was just the um, the unusable bit of the store was there on the right sorry on the right here is the second farm there's a couple of little houses here that we've got a second farm with a dog chickens come around here we have a garden 
There is a uh, sheep and goat enclosure over there as well. It's all part of the same farm. You've got plenty of storage. A lovely little farm. Silo and pigs. Nice little pig enclosure here as well. With some storage above it for bales and things. And another uh, grass and hay store. This is where we are. So this is... Yeah. You'll put bales in up there. You can put loose hay and storage in through this bit up here. And then you get the... Um, you get your slurry out there. Here we have some a bit more storage. Nothing in these three, I don't think. These are just storage. Um, no, here's another smokehouse. Superb. And here's a well. Oh, the dog's called Prudy. Let's feed him. Oh, he's got a bone. Nice. It's a pig's it's a pig's leg. Less nice. Anyway, moving on. So the other bit, bit that fills the gap here between us and the shop is a market. So we've got Rifacine Market. I have not said that correctly at all, but here we are. So you can Come here and buy stuff. Yeah, yeah boss. Come here and sell stuff, I should imagine, to be perfectly honest. There are sort of machines that you can use that are part of company machines and things like that. Looks like you can Yes, you can sell all sorts here. Which is good. Like I said, that's now the main dealership over there. And if we come up to here, then we have everything as it was before. So here's the village shop. Now opposite the market. There's the back of the other farm and the pigsty. And you've got your church and everything is normal going that way. The only other one new thing actually over there is a pulp factory. Papier. Paper and fabric factory here. So that's new. And that's using the... Um, the platinum edition paper paper and carton rolls so take wood and turn it into paper I think as a byproduct you get pulp out of it as well right then so I hear you ask what's happened to the brewery well you remember this bit up here you head up to the bakery now we turn left now you can only get into here once you've purchased it otherwise you can't you can't get into it at all but the brewery now has its own site in here we have the brewery as you'd expect to see it although to be honest there's a bit more storage and things this is the the malt grist silo in there. So you can put your malt grist in there and store it. That would then feed into here, where you can drop it into a wheelbarrow and put it into uh, the um, the first the mashing process. And that all goes through as it did before on the farm. The second bit you've got over here is a tiny little bottling plant. There's an optional bottling plant here. 
which is new and nice. Get to store the beer in here and then run it through into the bottling machine and you'll get out of it bottles. You've also got a little company vehicle here that you can use. Which is a nice little electric truck. It's also got a couple of trailers outside as well. Yeah, a couple of trailers out here. If you needed to use them to cart your beer to places. There's also an electric um, forklift over here as well, if you were to need it to do the pallets. Here is just storage. Storage for booze, I imagine. And that is what has happened to Hoff Bergman in version 1.2. And I think that there is there's some really, really good updates in that. There is no other part of the map that's changed as far as I'm aware. Although possibly the sawmill has got a little bit more interactive as well. But having never visited the sawmill in the first um, the first version of the game. I don't know, but you can sell wood over here. You can purchase processed wood over there. Um, and there's productions over here to create the, the, the wood planks and things that you would get into in the um, platinum version of the game. Which is quite cool. Little loading platform up here as well. You can load onto the side of a lorry. Makes things a lot easier. But yeah, I believe that is everything that has changed in Hoff Bergman version 1.2. I'm very, very excited about getting stuck in on this one. And I think that what we're going to do now is I'm going to start a new save game with the amount of money that we finished our previous save game on and we shall purchase the vineyard and start getting some, uh, some bits and pieces but luckily I mean obviously we've only got one crop it's going to be the grapes and while they're growing we have plenty of other things to explore like the fish and the new farm and everything like that as well so Give me a minute, and I'll be back into the new game. All right then, so hello everybody. In that last half a second, I have reset to a new save game, because in order to do the, um, to, to do the map tour that we just did, I had to buy some plots of land, and uh, I couldn't sell those plots of land after that, because they, uh, they had some placeables on them, which were already there when I bought them. Either way, here we are at the dealership. As you can see, the money is £1,444,364, which is exactly what we ended the previous episode on after Hoff Bergman the farm. So I'm going to get right on and buy the vineyard which, as you can see, is £541,800. Quite a lot. Now, if we go over to the vineyard, we can have a quick look around. Now, none of this has changed in the update, so this is exactly as it was before. As you can see, we have got hundreds of vines over here. Tons of vines, and that is the backbone of our of our our, our um, empire, I should say, our, our wine making business. So yes, this is where we're going to get all the grapes. Now we're going to be following the process through, but essentially, 
first part of the process is the grapes go into here and they get they get processed in there and after that they'll go into this room here and they'll start getting processed here in step two then we've got step three of the process obviously i'll go through this in more detail when we've actually got uh the process underway then there's fermentation and then it gets pumped out so that's something to look forward to now i don't actually have a house up here i don't live up here there is sort of a house i could put down a um a sleep trigger i suppose but um i really really would like to also own that house the new farm down in the village because that would also give us access to be able to smoke fish. And that's one of the things I really, really want to do. Is if we look at here, we can get a boat on a trailer. And that boat will en enable us to go fishing. Which is absolutely amazing. That's only 14,000. 500 pounds. Anyway, the first thing we are going to need, because I think the, um, I believe that there's nothing else we can do to help improve the yield of the grapes in the first year. So the first thing we're going to need is a harvester. Now, this is part of the ER. ERO grape liner um, series this harvester here and this is the one I want to get so we've got engine set up here we've got a capacity big um, I would like to get a bigger engine if I can uh, so the first boost gives us a little bit of extra speed which is handy and then it takes the speed away for the second boost so I don't know what the extra horsepower would give us though let's go for the one with the, the extra speed but not the extra horsepower so we're going to buy that that is going to be our staple For the work now, uh, grape trailers. Do they appear in miscellaneous? No. Let's have a look then in these packages. Grapes. Grape trailer. Right. Ah. A bigger grape trailer. Ah, there's a mini, mini agricultural equipment pack, and that grape trailer can also do. Um. Grape pulp and compost. So. We're going to go for that trailer, I think. I'm going to buy that. And what I would absolutely love to do is have a look at the Antonio Guerrero pack. There we go. So, wheel setup though. Ah, interesting. So, let's have a look because I'm sure that there is, yes, a tracked one in here. And I am very, very keen to try out the tracked one. Here we are. Look at that. That's a beautiful tra tractor. Could have a three-point linkage on the front as well, which would be very useful. And a front weight. Look at that. Zarya Compact. I don't know if that works on grapes, you know. I've no idea if that works on grapes or not. Anyway, 
we'll buy that. Which is absolutely perfect. Now the other equipment that we're going to need for grapes is a pruner for after the harvest. We could probably get that after the harvest. Mulchers, cultivators, a sprayer I would think would be definitely useful. And the sprayer has a 4,000 litre capacity. They might be worth us going to fertilise them all now, I think. So let's buy the sprayer. And we'll get some liquid fertiliser. Now that's 2,000 litres, so if we get two of those... That'll fill up the trailer nicely. And that'll be... Ooh, look at this. Beautiful. So job number one, then, will be to get the field sprayed. So that's going to be job number one for today, I think. We'll get this filled up with both of these tanks. They should both fit, no problem. Might need to get a little bit closer for that one. There we go. Alright. I wonder... I wonder if the harvester... will be able to tow trailer. be nice if it could. But I'm not so sure. No, I don't think it can. Uh, and I wonder if it will be able to get itself up to here without any problems. Oh, looks like it might be able to. And it's a faster, fast one, isn't it? go, I could follow it. I think what we'll do is we, we still have 481 thousand pounds. We could afford this farm. I think we could afford this farm. Let's have a quick look at how much that farm is. Yeah, that's only 244,000. So I think we'll buy that farm as well. That can be our home. We've already got some chickens in there, I think. They'll need some, they'll need some grain. I'll we'll have to buy some, some grain. Um, and we've still got two hundred and thirty-seven thousand. And we'll, we need to buy a. Oh hello! Why aren't we moving here? There we go. That's better. We need to buy a plot of land in the in the lake to be able to go do fishing. Because what I really want to do is go do some fishing. But I'm probably going to have to get a fairly small... A small front load of tractor for the yard, I think. Just to help move things around. Eventually we might be able to get some pigs. But, um... To be honest, this isn't going to be a huge series. What I want to do is get through all the winemaking process and sell wine. So there's a good chance this series may only go on for sort of, I don't know, maybe 15, 15 episodes, maybe 20 episodes, something like that. But there'll be time in that to get some fish, get the fish smoked. May even be at time in this episode to get out and get some fish. We'll have to go and see. First of all, though, I am going to spray up and down all the rows to Im prove the yield but the, the oh dear because what we want more than anything else is to to get the best out of these grapes well done worker B I must say I am impressed right 
let's get this put away in the shed. Will it fit through this archway? Yes, it will. Weingart Berkman. Berkman, sorry. Weingart Berkman. Right, so I'm not going to put this in a shed. I'm going to put this under the cover over here. That should be absolutely fine. I think the grapes will be ready to harvest maybe next episode. Which is why I'm keen to get in the fertilizer this episode. But if we have a look here at the chart. Uh, yeah, grapes will be September or October. Which will be a little bit fantastic. So that will be wonderful. I could also use my little front loader tractor. Whatever we choose. To, um, to tow the grapes around. That would be great. <laughs> that would be great. So, there's going to have to be a systematic way to approach this. Because... I mean, look at it. It's absolutely mammoth task. I'm hoping this amount of fertiliser will cover it. But uh, essentially, we're going to be going up and down every row, I believe. We'll see how we go. Ah, right. Now, before I start, I do want to purchase the soil information. Because then we'll find out... Oh, wait. Did I get... Ah, I got the Azaria Compact. So I should be able to turn on the crop sensor there we go, Alt B yep, crop sensor turned on we'll turn on the sprayer uh, it may not work on grapes hmm Strange. Maybe I still have to... Oh, what am I doing? So that, it actually does... I can go down every other one because it, it does both sides at the same time, doesn't it? So my crop sensor is on. I don't know if that's helping us at all here, though. Hmm. Right. Let's quickly purchase this soil information and see if that helps. £9,000. Right, then. Ah. Oh, that's interesting. So I have a map now that tells me when something's been fertilised. That's odd. Because the nitrogen map turns into a fertiliser map. Hmm. Strange. Crop does not require additional fertilizer. Then why is the fertilizer map showing that it does? I'm really confused by this. So it's saying the crop doesn't need nitrogen. Come on, little one.
Right, I don't I think that makes much sense at all, although the mini map is showing up that fertilizer is being applied. And it is counting down in my thing. So I think it does need fertilizing, so I'm gonna keep keep going with it. Keep going with it and we will catch up with you after we're done. go that's the whole of the vineyard fertilized probably only one application of fertilizer I think I don't think grapes are included in precision farming in the same way but I've only used 20% of a tank of fertilizer so we have got a lot more fertilizer should we need it I would say it'll be for next year's now because I expect that next episode those grapes will be ready to harvest which is fantastic news because we can start the um, the wine making process straight away right lovely and quiet in this uh, in this tractor off it goes lovely little thing I'm pleased I spent the money on it was a bit close wasn't it but yeah fantastic little thing really really good now I would like to go fishing I think we should do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy myself a car uh, oh get a Nissan Navara look let's do that let's get a Nissan Navara BKT wheels look good. Hard to, I want a hard top? No, let's not have a hard top. Nope. No company logos. Don't need any beacons. That looks nice, doesn't it? Chassis colour. Don't want a matte grey. Dark grey. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Design colour. Don't know what that changes. Rim colour looks good. I'm pleased with that. So we'll buy that. And we will get the boat. I would like the sea wolf. And I would like it. Hmm. I was gonna say I'd like it to match my uh my car, but no, we're gonna get it white. It looks so much better in white. We're we gonna buy that. There we go. Now we have a boat with a trailer and a fishing rod. At least I hope we have the fishing rod. Or does that come under miscellaneous? Nope, it doesn't. We have a fishing rod. What I also need to get is some food for the chickens. So before we go down for a little fish, I do need to get some food for the chickens. Uh, and possibly 
the bucket as well. Yeah, let's get the bucket just in case they need water. Um, consumer goods? Nope, not consumer goods. Ah, transport boxes for fish. I will need that. Um, right then. I don't really want to get a big bag of chicken food. Because I've got, I'd have to get a tractor as well. But I am going to get a tractor. Oh, let's just do it. Big bag of chicken feed. There we go. One of those will do for now. But it does mean I will have to get a front loader tractor. Something with a little bit of weight added into it. What could I get? Uh, well, the Kubota M6 series looks good. Let's see. With T6, although that's getting a bit big now. Oh, this is new. I mean, no good for me right now, but it's new. Hmm. Is the T6 a bit big? Yes, I think it is. Right. Ooh, that looks about the same size as the T6. I don't want anything that big, do I? Right, I'm going to sit here and make a decision. And then I'll catch up with you. Right, I made the decision. We've got the Massey Ferguson 5S Steep Nose. Now I know it's not exactly a small tractor. And I've got the wheel weights at the rear and the wide tyres. I think it's uh, this will do us nicely. So first of all, I'm just going to make sure the chickens have got enough food. And water. Oh dear. I missed. There we go. Alright, with the wheel weights, this should be absolutely fine for holding chicken food here. Um, did I have a bucket? Yes, I did have a bucket. Oh, look. That's odd. Put these in the back of the car. Yes, because these say they're only for smoked fish. Ah. Which is a bit odd. Why well, can't they be used for normal fish as well? Anyway. Feed the chickens, give them some water. And then, um, we'll head out to sea. Ah, I've just remembered, I need to have enough money to buy some... ...sea land. I don't want construction. I don't want construction at all. Sea land. You know what I mean. I need to buy some sort of plot over here. Ah, oh, that's alright, they're only cheap. Now which plot to go for though, that's the question. You go 52 here, just by the island. Well, there are different sizes and values. We'll start with 49 then. And see how that goes. In the meantime, get into our farm.
that the farmhouse is the same one as the uh, other side. I think this bag of chicken feed might keep them going for quite a while, although quite a full trough there. Oop, squidge. Let's just pop it down in here for now. There we are. That tractor can sit nicely there. Right. Wonder where their eggs spawn. Right, there's our tap. So we do need to run back and get our bucket. Let's just fill Prudy's bowl. There we go. So we'll just very quickly sort out the chickens with some water. And I'll rejoin you, or you rejoin me, when we're on the way down to the lake. Right, here we are then, on the way down to the um, the fishing lake. Got me boat in tow. As you can see in the mirror up there, in fact. And look, I've got, <laughs> with my trailer selected, I've got an option to start fishing at the click of a button. First of all though, we need to get to the lake, so down here. Past the bottling factory. And then we follow this track down the side of this field. I wonder if they'll let us in if we, as we own a plot of land. <sighs> Guess we have to open it ourselves. There we go. Right then. Um, so there was an option to start fishing. There now isn't. I suppose I'll just back the boat down into this bit of the lake here, I suppose. Oh, 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 okay, maybe not. Ah. That's a potential issue that I didn't foresee. Let me try and sort this out. Right, it seems I have um, started sorting this out. So what I need to do then is back this down into the water, I think. the sea wolf down into the water for a nice boat launch. Uh, the boat appears to be all the way underwater there. Oh, that's weird. Why can't I turn that off? Uh... Control motorboat, E. Well, let's stop fishing for a second. Right, so that looks good. Fasten or unfasten tension belts.
Hmm. But how do I... Start engine. Oh no. I've just realised. I spoke fish containers. Where are they all? They must have got catapulted. Oh. Well, that's not going to work. Right, so why can't I float away in this now? Right, this is becoming difficult. Let me do a little bit more research. Right, finally figured it out. You have to have... The trailer's... No, the boat selected. When you go to get into the boat, and then it will detach from the trailer. Right, and now we need to get over to our fishing spot, which is over there. in order to catch some fish. Well, I thought this would be a nice relaxing day. But, uh... Fish population, 6%. Well, why is that? Maybe I need to turn the boat engine off. I don't know. Angling starting. Do I need to have the engine running to catch fish? I don't know. What? Ah, oh, angling starting. Ah. Angle is starting to start to fish. Well, I think we should buy a few more uh, fishing spots. Maybe. Maybe there's one around the back of the island here. Maybe this one on the middle of the island. Now we have a few more options as to where to fish, especially as this is only. 2% fish population here. That looks like... Oh, look, I've got five kilos of fish there, look. Excellent. Let's go see if there's any more places that have a higher population of fish. So a 12% population of fish. Let's try here then. Lovely. 
Ah, I can twizzle my light round on there. Oh, that's where the light twizzle is. Come on, start fishing. So that I can fish at night. Well, marvellous. Ten percent fish in there, and I'm getting more fish in my boat. Good. The more fish, the better. Right. Well, I'm a fishing. We've got sixty thousand pound left in the bank. At the moment, I think we're doing all right. Probably get some sheep and goats at some point, but we'll need to buy the hay to start with to feed them. And, uh, yeah, I think that, that's a good first episode. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.